Sue Justice, uh, president and founder of Emory HR. We are a human resource outsourcing and consulting firm. Um, I'm happy today to uh, participate in the Small Business Association of Michigan's Wisdom Wednesday. Uh, today, my topic is how to create a excellent employee experience. Um, what it is is a, a long-term foundational tool to help you attract and retain employees. Um, the employee experience is basically a marketing of your culture to uh, prospective and current employees uh, throughout that life cycle of the employee. The life cycle, what that means is that it's from its infancy throughout its, its lifespan and then when it, when it ends. And um, just to kind of go over a little bit of what each stage is to give you an idea of what that means. Um, the beginning stage is, of course, the recruiting and acquisition stage. So you're advertising yourself, uh, whether it is on a, your career page or a job posting page, and helping those potential uh, employees actually get an idea of what it would be like to work for you. Um, so that's your beginning stage. The next piece of that is when you, you orientate them, you hire them, you orientate them, and you bring them on, on board. And uh, that is, um, the orientation piece is actually the first day or two. You're welcoming, welcoming them, you're introducing them, and the onboarding is a little bit longer than that. That could be 90 days, six months to a year, and you have a plan for them to help them uh, continue to acclimate into, the, um, into the, the, your business. And then that brings them, of course, into the lifespan of, of the time period they are with you. Um, and ways that you can keep them engaged and productive. Um, that can be anywhere from um, recognition programs, performance reviews, feedback, um, and continual, obviously, a, a communication throughout that time that they're with you. Uh, again, every, most employees do want to be successful and productive, so uh, helping them do that is, is really important. And then the last piece of that is when they leave. Um, many people think that that's not as important as the rest, and it's still important because they're still bringing your name out into the world. And so allowing them to leave your organization positively is helpful. You can do that through exit interviews, um, outplacement services, severance packages. And if it's an involuntary um, situation that's maybe not so pleasant, you just try to make it as pleasant as you can. Um, so again, it's not as negative and your name's not going out there um, in a not so good fashion. Last piece of advice and how to manage this, this process is purchasing what we call a human resource management tool. You can purchase these fairly affordably, um, easily through your payroll vendor. Most have a system that integrates with your payroll and that includes applicant tracking systems that you know help you recruit and uh, uh, acquire employees and then bring them through that onboarding process filling out paperwork gives you uh, ways to uh, communicate to that employee throughout their lifespan and then obviously um, to save those files uh, electronically for you and that is my advice today on the SBAM Wednesday wisdom